Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I missed Sunday. Um, today's video is about my 100 day project and a bit of chat at the end of life as to why I didn't get an update video out and much crafting done last week. So, my 100 day project. Well, 100 day project. What can I say? Come join me. It's designed to declutter your yarn stock, yarn stash. Make something you love for someone you love for a hundred days. Basically for five to ten minutes a day you work on it and you do it for a hundred days. And it starts officially on the 22nd of February tomorrow. But you can start later if you like and just do a hundred days. It finishes around the 2nd of June. I think that's what I wrote down. Well who started the 100 day project? The 100 day project was started by the designer Michael Barut and has since become an annual free global art project to creatives. Just pick a project, do it consistently for 100 days and share it. What should I do for a 100 day project? The basic premise of the 100 day project is to create something for 100 days. Anything. What can you make? Anything. Just work on it for 5 to 10 minutes a day for 100 days. So in 2020 I did a 100 day project and I made the Doctor Who, the fourth Doctor Who, Tom Baker's big long scarf. I think it's about 2.5 metres, maybe 3 metres when it's finished. And I did that for Thing because he is a mad Doctor Who fan and he wanted the scarf. I got all the yarn in from um, Wool Warehouse Style Craft DK and did it. There'll be some photos of my 100 day project I did in 2020 at the end of this video. So make sure you check them out. And I haven't done one for a while. But there has been something burning in the back of my brain I want to make. And I've worked out I can do it as a 100 day project. So officially starting tomorrow here, the 22nd of February. And it goes until about the 2nd of June. My project will be, I'll get it out of its sleeve. Now it's not like I need to do this. But I don't know what it is about this one. But I want to do it. I'll find a good picture of it. And, um, the Jigsaw Blanket by Stephen West. I have two Stephen West projects on the go and I signed up for the Brioche Stephen West, Stephen West Brioche Workshop. One of those projects I was hoping to have finished by February, end of February, but it's not going to happen after what happened to me last week. And if that doesn't send me to the funny farm, maybe this will. I not, I'm hoping this is not as hard or a little easier than the one I'm currently working on. But that will be my 100 day project. The Stephen West Jigsaw Shawl uh, Blanket. It gives you a graph at the back. You can colour it in and design your colours. But for me, I can't make up my mind what I want to do. So... There are 47 sections plus a border. So I figure I've got an average of two days to work on one of the sections. Some are smaller, some are bigger. But I think I could get it finished in 100 days. It is just knitted garter stitch. So the stitching itself is not hard. It will be joining the sections because you knit them. You don't sew them. Um, so for me, I can't decide whether to do it for my lounge room decor, for my chase lounge, and do it in all pure wools, all these oranges and rustic colours and mustard colours I have in pure wool, or just freestyle it and do it in acrylic eight ply. This is just one bag of acrylic eight plies I have, like there's pinks, there's red, there's greens there's blue there's black believe me besides this i have one tote full of acrylic eight ply 
So guys, what do you think I should do it in? The acrylic eight ply, random bright colours drawn from the bag, or my pure wool oranges and browns and beige tones? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you want to join me for my 100 day project and do a 100 day challenge of your choice, all I ask is you post three pictures during the 100 days of your progress. You can post them on Instagram with the hashtag, yes, another hashtag for you, 100 day project AU. So I know it's you. You can post them in our Facebook group. You can join the group or if you're a member of the group, you can post them in there. Or if you'd like, I could set up a Ravelry chat thread or a thread on Ravelry. Let me know if you'd like a Ravelry thread. And you can also email me your three pictures because at the end of it, depending on how many participants I get, on the 3rd of June, I'll give away a few prizes. If I get a lot, there'll be a few. If I only get a couple, there'll be one. I haven't decided. It'll be a mystery prize. It's not really a make-along. It's just a 100-day challenge. And if you participate with me and encourage me and I encourage you, then there'll be a little reward at the end of it for one, two, maybe three lucky winners, depending on how many people join me in the 100-day project. So, yeah, usual... YouTube rules will have to apply. You have to be over 18 years of age and it's open worldwide. It's nothing too serious. It's a bit of fun and it is an idea to declutter your stash or your stock. I was watching um, Laura from Mad Mimi's Farming and Crochet and she has a lot of one skeins and she was looking for projects that were one skein. And so that's what gave me the idea. I knew 100 Day kicked off tomorrow and I've been racking my brain what I could do and I decided I would buy the Stephen West pattern. This is a paid for pattern. It cost me about $11 Australian in exchange because all his patterns are in Euro. So the other thing is if you want an idea of what to make and you just want to use random bits of stash well you could always do the knitted lily blanket that I am doing for my scrappy blanket this one the pattern's looking very beaten up but this one or I did find a chevron crochet blanket that's free on Ravelry I'll put some links to a couple of projects in the um, description below in case you're interested in joining me and encouraging each other to work on something for a hundred days and clear some of the yarn stock because I know most of us have too much I know I do so there you have it hundred day project starting February the 22nd tomorrow what do you think to my Stephen West blanket this I've measured it is the perfect size I need for my chase lounge until I measured it, my chase lounge part, I was definitely doing the bright coloured eight ply acrylic bags. And then I thought, oh, I have all this beautiful pure wool in these colours that I bought for my decor. What do I do it in? Because the actual pattern calls for, have I written it down? Let me have a look. This actual pattern calls for 5,000 yards, 4,572 4, metres of fingering weight yarn because he wants you to hold two together, different colours to get different effects. And that equals eight ply or DK or three weight. And that would be about 2,000 yards in eight ply and about 1,829 metres, roughly that, in eight ply. Now, all these are eight ply. In those colors I have four ply too so what do I do do I do the random acrylic or do I do the pure wool let me know in the comments below and let me know if you're keen to join the 100 day project don't panic if you don't start it on the 22nd just think about something to make where you can do a couple of rows a day and have a bit of fun and a laugh and it is good to promote creative fiber art and decluttering 
our stuff. So there you have it. Nothing too serious. That's my 100 day project. Now, thank you if that's all you're interested in joining me for. Live chat and why I didn't do a Sunday update. I did do a short video on yard cleanup because we had another big tree crack and that was due to the amount of weight of berries in it and the number of birds were in it when the wind was blowing and it cracked and fell and had to be cut down. But that's only partly why I helped with a bit of the cleanup but I couldn't do much because these four fingers across this part were severely scalded last week by a, a pot of hot um, mocha pot coffee boiling hot off the stove was spilt on my fingers they were very sore I couldn't knit and I couldn't crochet for a few days and then eventually I could crochet and as of yesterday I started knitting I was really angry that I'm predominantly right-handed everything is right-handed I, I they could cut off my left hand and I'd be fine because I don't need it everything I do is right-handed it made it difficult to write at work um, but yeah I managed somehow they've just had all the dressings off this one is quite sore along here it got me there got me there got me there got me there um, boiling hot coffee just an accident that happens but I was really annoyed because I thought I'd have my Stephen West project my mystery project I haven't shared with you finished by the end of February and I was just working on a bit when I got home from work and I thought I am not going to get this finished by the end of February fingers crossed I will be close to finishing anyway let me know in the description below if you would like to join in the 100 day project and what do you think I should use pure wool or acrylic there you go so until next time stay safe stay well and think about what a 100-day project would mean for you. Bye for now.